Hello, I'm Rainer Grüninger, Application Engineer at Kübler, and today I will show you how to parameterize an IO Link encoder over Profinet in TIA portal. The encoder shall measure speed and position and send the value to the IO Link display. In this video, you will learn how to commission the encoder and handle the process data within the network. Our setup consists of an F58 Profinet encoder, a Torque IOLink Profinet master module, a single turn IOLink encoder, a multi turn IOLink encoder, and the IOLink display 573T. Make sure to connect all IOLink devices to the IOLink master. The IOLink master itself has to be connected to a Profinet PLC port, either on the PLC itself or to a switch. As soon as the encoder is powered up and connected, the LED begins to flash. In this project, the PLC is already integrated and set up. We also have a F58 Profinet encoder in the network which brings this example closer to a real network situation. In order to be able to configure the IO-Link device of the IO-Link master, the IO-Link master must first be integrated into the Profinet network via the GSDML file. We start by adding the IO-Link master to our network. Click on Options, Manage Stationary Description Files and choose the file to install. Next, click on Install and wait for the installation to be finished. After the installation, you can move to the hardware catalog and choose the IO-Link master device. Place the device in the network via drag and drop. Make sure to connect the relevant ports to the PLC. As soon as the device file of the master has been successfully installed, you can configure the individual ports of the master in the device view. The M36 single turn encoder is connected to port 1. We assign forward input data to this master port. We also assign forward input data to the second port, as a second IOLink multi turn encoder is also connected here. The Kubler IO-Link display is connected to port 3. Here we assign forward output data. The proximity switch is connected to the fourth port of the master. Thus we only assign a digital IN function to this port. Additionally, you can assign diagnostics, IO-Link events, and a module status. The M36 IO Link has two profiles from which you can choose. The first profile is the Smart Sensor Profile. With this profile, a position value and a scaling factor are transmitted. With the second profile, the Kubler Standard Profile, a position and a velocity value are transmitted. 
Depending on your application, you can choose either one of them. For this tutorial, we will use pre-configured encoders with a smart sensor profile for the first encoder and the Kubler standard profile for the second encoder. For each device, we have assigned a separate tag table. For each tag table, make sure to use the correct data format. Two variables have been defined for the single-turn encoder connected to port 1. The M3658A encoder has the Kubler standard profile. The variable M3658A position contains the position value and the variable M3668A speed contains the velocity information. Variables have also been created for the multi-turn encoder on port 2, which works with the smart sensor profile. Variable M3668A position unscaled contains the measured value. Also, we have a variable for the scaled position, which is M3668A position scaled. And variable M3668A scaling contains the scaling factor. The switching state of the proximity switch is reflected under capacitive sensor in the PROX switch port 3 variable. The IO-Link display is able to display two values. Accordingly, two variables were defined for the display 573T, display top and display bottom. Additionally, you can create a separate watch table for each process variable. This makes it easy to check on the values during operation. For this tutorial, we have predefined a watch table for each process device with their respective variables. Please make sure to use an appropriate display format. To handle the process data, we need to create a function block that handles the I.O. link input. For this purpose, we click on Program Block, Add New Block. Now we choose Function Block. Next, we name the block and click on OK. After the block has been created, we need to add this block to our main routine. Here we drag and drop the newly created function block into our runtime network. Again we hit OK and the block now will be called from our main routine. To assign the input variables to the output variables, two move program blocks are required. The variable M3658A position represents the single turn position value and is transferred to the variable display top. This variable represents the top value of our display. The variable M3668A speed represents the speed of the single turn encoder and is transferred to the variable display bottom. This variable represents the lower value of our display. As soon as the smart sensor profile is used, a scaling can also be applied for the actual measured value. To calculate the scaled position, the block LIO link measured data channel is required. This function block can be found in the library Common and Smart Sensor Profiles and is available for download on the Siemens webpage. Siemens provides a suitable function block in the TIA portal for each smart sensor profile class. Please make sure to install the LIO Link library first. This function block calculates the measurement with the scaling and outputs the scaled measured value at the output value real. The variable of the total measured value is connected to the input measurement value. 
and the variable containing the scaling is connected to the input scale LM. You can check the software configuration of your IO-Link devices by switching to the device view of the IO-Link Master. Click on the relevant device and look under Module Parameters, how the parameters are set up. Here you can determine whether diagnostic information will be shown. For this example, we are leaving the parameters as is. Finally, the parameterized configuration is transferred to the controller. Click on Compile first. After the compilation is done without any errors, you can click to download the project to the PLC. As soon as the project is transferred to the PLC, we can switch to the Run mode. If the shaft of our M36 encoder is rotated, the value is automatically transmitted to our display. We can also see that the position and speed values are correctly transmitted to the display. If we check the values on the display watch table and compare them to the values on the M3658A watch table, both values are exactly the same. Okay, now you know exactly how to parameterize an IO-Link encoder. As always, thanks for watching. I hope to see you again in the next tutorial. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call me. Your Rainer Gröninger.